Hello. Hi, Robert. Hello. Hi there. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, I can. I can hear you. Thank you. What's my connection like? Is it OK? Uh, yes. I'm, I'm... Yes, I can see you. Yes. Yes, thank you. Fantastic. A little bit ropey, but uh, oh. if necessary, we'll shut yeah. it down. We'll shut, shut down the pictures, I mean, if, if necessary. Okay, no problem. It says... Oh, very nice. It says we're Simon... On holiday. Sorry. Oh, I was just going to say, we're on holiday in uh, Battle near Hastings in our caravan at the moment. Right. Okay, it does say your bandwidth is low. Yes. Yeah, I've got. I'm on four G on my phone. And I've just got one, one bar, so it is quite limited. Right. Okay, that's not a problem at all. Thank you. Uh, where, where are you based, Robert? I'm. I'm based in the south of England. Nice. So, I'm quite some so way away from. Oh, oh, oh! Hang on. Are you there? Yes. All right. Here, I thought yeah. I lost you. I thought I lost you. No, oh, no that's my right. fault. Okay. Um, so, you, well, we've all got nice weather at the moment. That's yes. quite nice. It's beautiful weather. Yes. I, I've been sticking um, uh, glass glass stones onto a large mirror, and I I, I just finished it oh, this yeah. morning. So I need to stick it outside in the sun so the glue sets. So I'll probably right. do that yeah, after I've spoken to you. Um, I am having a bit of trouble. Shall we shut down the picture? Maybe if it's just sound, it might be easier. Yeah, that's fine. No problem. Yes. OK. Let me stop. How's that? Is that a little bit? Better? Um, still breaking up a little bit, but no problem. Let's 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 continue. If we have any problem, we can just switch over to phone, maybe. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, well, I'm, I'm reading your book, Enjoy Life Forever, and I'm puzzled on chapter 13, How False Religion Misrepresents God. It's paragraph two that kind of shocked me a little bit, really. Uh -huh. Paragraph two. Okay. On page yeah, 55. Shall, shall I read that? Just so I, yeah. So I get the idea of it? Yeah. Okay. Um, how does false religion misrepresent God by its actions? False religion does not treat people as Jehovah does. The Bible says that false religion's sins have massed together clear up to heaven, based there on Revelation 18.5. For centuries, religions have meddled in politics, supported wars and caused or approved the death of <coughs> countless numbers of people. Some religious leaders enjoy a lavish lifestyle and demand money from their followers to pay for it. These actions prove that they do not even know God, let alone have the right to represent him. And then we have uh, yes. our read scripture there, first four, eight. Yes. Are you using um, a paper copy of the of the publication or a digital one, um, Robert? A paper copy. I wrote away for a paper copy. Okay. Um, so when you look in your Bible, there if, have you got your Bible handy for the First yes. John four eight? Yes. Do you mind reading that? It'd yes, be nice of course. To hear your... Thank you. He who does not love does not know God, for God is love. Thank you. What was your thoughts on that paragraph? I'm shocked, really. Um, I okay. mean, the book is quite adamant in saying religions that meddle in politics or support wars or whose leaders live a lavish lifestyle uh, can't represent God. They don't know God and they can't represent him. So I was kind of shocked. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. I suppose it's looking at the example of Jesus um, and how he handled the matters of wealth and also politics is that he never got involved in those things. 
um, or supported wars and so forth. So that's one of the, I'm sh which I'm sure you appreciate, one of the main examples that we would follow is the example of Jesus in that way. Well, does the watchtower does the watchtower follow its own teachings? I, I'm, I'm I'd be shocked. I mean, the watchtower's got a history of being involved in politics and warfare for for a century or so. Um, it was very easy to, you know, I I try to be a Berean. I I try to study this. I mean, the truth has nothing to fear. So, I try to be a Berean. But I mean, the watchtower's been involved in politics and warfare for donkeys' years. I, I'm kind of a bit shocked, Simon. You know why the book is so adamant about this? Yeah, I'm a little bit perplexed that you say that the Watchtower or Jehovah's Witnesses have been involved in politics. What, what do you mean by that? Um, well, for instance, um, in the 2020 election, um, I did a, a search to try and find out, you know, what involvement the Watchtower has had in politics. Um, and I found out... I found out that um, originally on followthemoney.org um, the Watchtower Property Company, which is a subcorporation of the Watchtower in the state of Pennsylvania, it manages small to mid-sized property in the state of Pennsylvania. They lobbied a Democratic politician called Vincent Hughes, giving him $10,000. That's on followthemoney.org. Then I did a, another search on uh, Transparency USA and I found out that uh, they'd actually given him an additional $2,000 so they'd given Vincent Hughes Democratic candidate for the state of Pennsylvania $12,000 in total well that's political lobbying that's getting involved in politics why would they do such a thing you know I, I'm just a bit shocked Simon okay so um do you have a background with jehovah's witnesses at all no no no. i used to be an evangelical christian never been a jehovah's witness but obviously i try to be like a berean even though i don't go to yeah, church yeah. anymore I'm, I'm fed up with the you know if i i don't want to get on a rant of what i experienced when i was in the evangelicals but it was ring a ring a roses mm -hmm. they'd say one thing uh, this is a sin you are a sinner if you do this and then you find the leaders are doing the very thing they're preaching against and then oh. if you point that out they all sort of stick together and um mm -hmm. well they end up reporting you to the police for harassment mm -hmm. <laughs> if you point out the things that they 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 do so you know i've tried to be a berean but why mm -hmm. why did the watchtower lobby and give twelve thousand dollars to a democratic politician vincent hughes in the state of pennsylvania i i don't i don't get it yeah well that's that's obviously a, a new news to me um i would also wonder about the the source of that um information who posted it what um, was their that, reason for it? those their some websites that i would just think they're websites that follow so, politicians and, and how much lobbying money politicians get. I mean, if it's not true, then take them to court. I mean, um, I mean, the Watchtower sues everything that moves. You know, anything that, that moves, the, the Watchtower takes, takes people to court. Um, there was a recent case in the paper. Um, it was actually in the Norwegian papers, um, but I... I, I followed it in translation um, about a, an Englishman called Kevin McFree, not his real name, and he made uh, cartoons. You know Wallace and Gromit? Huh? You've heard of Wallace and Gromit? Well, they're yeah. made out of clay. Yeah. He, he used Lego and he moved little, little Lego pieces around and he filmed them doing stop motion animation similar to Wallace and Gromit. And he made a little world called Dubtown with the Kingdom Hall and little Lego characters, and he had he used funny funny voices, you know. I'm an elder. Hello, I'm an elder. I'm an elder, and it was just comedy. And mm. the Watchtower hired one of the top law firms in America at a cost of hundreds of thousands of dollars, and took him to court. Mm. And uh, 
Mm. The case was thrown out of court last month. I mean, the guy was an Englishman in an average job. He couldn't afford to hire a lawyer in America. Luckily, he found an American lawyer who was happily to, was happy to work pro bono for free. Mm. And the case was thrown out of court last year. Mm. Um, there was another... Well... Yeah, so, I, I mean, so the Watchtower which is a multi-billion dollar corporation, sues everything that moves. Uh, if this lobbying money is not true, uh, you can bet your bottom dollar the Watchtower would take these uh, websites to court. Mm -hmm. They'd sue them for libel. Yeah. Obviously, Robert, you are... Um... It doesn't sound it, what what Jehovah's Witnesses are endeavouring to do is to assist people to understand the Bible and to have a have friendship with Jehovah God, our Creator. Is that something that you would like? But that's what everyone says. I used to be an evangelical Christian. That's what they say. We're here to teach people the Bible. Five dollars. And to love Jesus, ten dollars, please. <laughs> and and to, uh, to have fellowship with Jesus, fifteen dollars. I mean, they don't practice what they preach. That's why I left the evangelical church. I got sick of it, sick of it to yeah, the back sure. teeth, of people preaching one thing, and doing the very opposite of what they preached. And yeah. then you cannot confront these people. You, you you cannot challenge them. You can't question them because they have what they call the truth. They are the true religion. They speak mm. in tongues. They have gifts of the Holy Spirit. You can't challenge them. How sure. can you? They've been appointed yeah, yeah. directly by God. God has made mm. them a pastor or an apostle or a prophet. And you can't challenge these people because they're directly appointed by God. So they become very authoritarian. Um, very dogmatic mm. and there have to be quite harsh punishments for those people who would dare not just to disagree you don't have to disagree with them just to just to question in any way because there is no dissent and they end up teaching basically um, their, their followers tend to have no understanding that's what I found most of the other people in the evangelical church have no understanding all they do is mm. they just regurgitate what they're taught by their pastor. Mm -hmm. y y you know, um, so they're authoritarian. <laughs> no dissent is allowed. To... People don't have... Have you been able to find the truth then? So, sorry? The truth. Have so... you been able to find the truth? Yes, yes. The the truth is Jesus Christ. He's He's the Messiah. He's revealed in Scripture. He's not revealed through Billy Bob, the local Pentecostal preacher. He's not revealed by the Pope. He's not revealed by the Mormon prophet. And I don't believe there is some organization that reveals truth. Truth mm. is a person. It's Jesus Christ. He said, I am the way, the truth and the life. John fourteen six. Jesus never said, go to some organization for the truth. Mm. Um, um, yeah. Well, Robert, Robert I, I appreciate your... I, appreciate you contacting us it's been interesting to talk I, i'm a little bit i'm a little bit concerned about about your motive and, and what it is that you're you're trying to persuade me of um i have i have full confidence in jehovah's witnesses and our organization um those things that you have quoted to me they they are unfamiliar bits of information um, however, I, I would need to research yes. that myself to, you know, make a consideration of that, which oh, I yes. appreciate. Yeah, yeah. But but what what concerns me, Robert, is that you've you've taken time to to contact and to try to run down Jehovah's Witnesses. Well, and <laughs> it, it it makes me wonder how many people, how many phone numbers you found on the website and that you're endeavoring to do that with and that's that's just a little concern that i have mm. um when it comes to warfare even the watchtower itself admits that they've been involved in warfare in the watch 
Did you want to reply to my question or to my statement? Well, I'm I'm a I'm try to be I'm try to be a Berean. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't accuse me of doing the very thing that you do yourself. That's that's called hypocrisy. <laughs> yes, if you do the very thing that I do, do you have you in in any time in your life knocked on anyone's door or spoken to anyone beside a cart and told them that their religion is wrong, be it a Baptist religion or a Pentecostal religion or a Catholic or an Anglican religion? Have you ever told anyone that their religion is wrong? No, I wouldn't do that. So you've, um, you're have you a Jehovah's Witness and you've never told anyone that their religion is wrong. Is that honestly would, truth, truthful? Yes, I would use the Bible to help oh. them to read them about how they feel about their belief and whether they feel what they're practicing corresponds with what they read in the bible i see i see and but robert but I, do you I'm, do that to, I, but do you do that to to yourself do you apply the teachings of the bible to yourself and to your own religion because in the watchtower for the 15th of may 1918 page 6257 Rutherford and that watchtower promoted the purchase of the Liberty Bond, also known as the Liberty Loan, to support the American military in the First World War. He was about to be arrested, as you know, in 1918, so he issued a few watchtower articles telling his readers in America to buy Liberty Bonds, that was money you gave the American government at interest-free, they repaid it after the war, to support the American war effort. So in the pages of the watchtower, the reference I've just given you, they were supporting the American military in the First World War. Rutherford even went on a platform with Catholic priests and Protestant clergymen during the National Day of Prayer and prayed with Catholic priests and Protestant clergymen for victory in the First World War. He did that because he knew he was about to be arrested. So he could use that in court to say, ah, but Your Honour, you know, I, I'm supporting the American war effort. I mean... Is that neutrality, to pray for victory in the First World War and to promote in the pages of the Watchtower the purchase of the Liberty Bond or Liberty Loan? I, I'm, I'm trying to have a dialogue with you. You, you see, yes, if, if, you're Bere, if you're a Berean, you know that you've got the truth's got nothing to hide. The truth's got nothing to be afraid of. If it's the real truth, it's got nothing to be afraid of. You, 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 you can research something, you don't need to be frightened. That's how cults control people through fear. And I'm not in fear, Robert. Thank pardon? you. I'm not in fear. Good, good. Well, then, would you like to answer the question? Why did Rutherford no. promote in the pages no. of the Watchtower the purchase of the Liberty Bond to support because the American war effort? Because what I don't like about this conversation is that you are simply trying to tear down and you're not endeavouring to build up. And that's one of the big challenges that Jehovah's Witnesses find with people like yourself. You study another religion to endeavour to ter tear it down, as opposed to going out there and providing simple Bible truths for people to listen to. Um, so, Robert, I appreciate well, you making a phone call. Now, hold on a minute, please. I don't wish to be rude. Um, I appreciate you reaching out to us, but this type of conversation is not one that I wish to continue or to follow. I, I genuinely wish you all the best and a peaceful day, and I would like to leave the conversation like that, if that's okay with you. You are afraid, aren't you, Simon? That's why you're doing a runner. I'm going to finish the call. Thank you for, very much oh. for calling us. Oh. Okay. Bye, Simon. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Thank you. Bye-bye.